Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. So this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create your own website. Now, creating a website is actually something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And Wix recently reached out to me to see if I wanted to show you guys how to create a website using Wix.com. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my computer and we should be ready to go. So now we are at Wix.com. Uh, so pretty much all you have to do is enter in your email address, create a password, and you're good to go. So I've already created an account here. Here. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and enter in the password that I created. And that's pretty much all you have to do when you sign up. You just enter in your email address and a password that you create and you're good to go. You don't have to enter in any sort of crazy credit card information or anything like that. It's free. Just create your own login and you're good to go. All right. So here we go. It asks you what kind of website you want to create. You can choose from business and online store photography. You can create a blog portfolio. You can choose from any of these things or you can choose other if it's not any of these things. Um, let's go ahead and try blog for now. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we can get. Now we can choose from two different presets here. You can create your website with the Wix ADI, which is the design intelligence. It kind of helps you out when creating your own look and feel and stuff like that. Or you can use the Wix editor where you can easily drag and drop things around and move things around the way you really want it to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose that option because I like to make things the way I really want them to be. And uh, these are the templates that we can choose from. If I change my mind, if I don't want to do a blog and I want to do something business oriented, I can go ahead and choose from the left hand side here and you've got all of these different categories here uh, but uh, we do have the blog area here which is the one I chose so let's go ahead and check out some of these templates okay so these templates are free and they do look really really nice but if you guys know me I do like the clean and minimalistic look when it comes to design and stuff like that so I'm, we do have three different pages here so uh, these ones look okay but I do like the ones on the first page let's go ahead and check out the second page real quick to see if there's anything there that catches my eye these are really nice but I think I'm gonna go bleh, I think I'm gonna go with the one on the first page I just like the font here with this Annabelle one here so let's go ahead and check this out when I hover my mouse over there I can edit it right away just get into the whole editing process instantly or I can go ahead and view it to see where you know just to get an idea of where I would place things and you can actually see you can actually interact with it I shall say and uh, so with this one here you can actually like I said interact with it so if I wanted to click on the about area I can click on that just kind of piece together in my mind where I would put things uh, what I would do with these specific areas and what I would add what I would take away etc as you can see with this block here it's very very simple simplistic, but it looks really, really good. If I were to click on this post here, it would just bring me to that post, uh, this different category here. And it looks really, really nice. You also have social media links at the upper right hand corner, as well as the header that says Annabelle. But the great thing about this is that you can change everything and make it your own. So let's go ahead and do that. I like the way this one looks. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, actually, what I forgot to show you was at the upper left hand corner, you can also see what the website will look like on mobile. So on your smartphone or your tablet, you can get an idea of what the website will look like. And you can also interact with it this way. So that is a really nice thing that you're able to do here with this. So let's go ahead and start editing this website. All right, so now we're in the website editor. And this is where you can let your imagination just go crazy. You can do whatever you want to do. And they have a bunch of different features here. So let's go ahead and start with, start off with something simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the header here. So it says Annabelle, you want to change that, right? It also, it has everything locked to a grid so that you can move things around to where you want them. Yes, but in case you want things to be centered and you're not sure where exactly the center is, they do have these lines here to help you out with that. As you can see, this right here is centered. But if I wanted to put it here, I could put it here if I wanted to. But uh, let's not do that. It looks a little interesting. But let's go ahead and change the header here. So let's go ahead and change this to easy tech. Why not? Let's just go ahead and run with that. And then we can also choose from a bunch of different fonts that they have here. Let's let's try this one, for example. Nah, no, you know, what? I like the other one better. So let's go ahead and go back to the future. In fact, let's see what future light looks like. OK, that's pretty cool. Pretty minimalistic. You can also change the font size as well. Uh, you can uh, italicize it. You can underline it. You underlined. You can underline it. You can do pretty much everything that you want here. You can have a shadow. You can have a little outline. You can make the text look exactly the way you want it to. You also have site title themes and you can see what they will look like. You can have a really small header, like a basic header like that. So you want more of the content to immerse people or you can just have the Big site title just say boom there's your brand right there so I kind of like the look of that so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that another cool thing that you can do with your header is that you can animate it so I'm gonna go ahead and click the animate button for when you first enter the page something like the float in which is just really clean it just kind of fades in like that that's pretty cool or you can choose it to expand just like come in at your face that's pretty cool or reveal I kind of like the uh, the floating one that's pretty that's pretty slick so that's pretty cool I'll go ahead and choose that one 
You can see what that looks like there. But we also have these tools on the left hand side and this is pretty much where you're gonna spend most of your time. So let's go ahead and choose the background here. You can keep it white. I like to keep things clean. So maybe I would keep it white or maybe I would keep it gray. So you can choose a solid color if you want or you can choose a video to be your background, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you have those and then you can also choose your own image if you want. You can upload your own image or you can choose uh, images from Wix. So they have a few uh, preset ones here. So if you wanted, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's choose uh, this one for example let's go ahead and change the background to that so you can have that to be your background you can set that to be your background if you want or you can just again let your mind run free you can choose anything that you want but i do like setting you know solid colors again keeping things nice and clean so this gray one here looks pretty cool but then now i have to change the text color so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick all right so now we're in the next category of customization here you can add text if you want even more text so if you wanted to add text and put a link there you could do that i'm going to go ahead and add a little sub a little subtitle here so let's go ahead and center this make sure that it's nice and lined up with the easy tech there and uh, let's go ahead and keep that. All right, so let's go ahead and edit this text. Right now it says small heading. First, let's go ahead and change the, the color so we can actually see it. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and have this say all tech everything. This is what it says on my channel. There we go. And let's go ahead and center that. There we go. And let's choose a nice font to go along with it. So, um, all right, so let's just go ahead and stick with that for now. Uh, as you can see, these social media bars are something that you can also add here. So if I go back to this ad, you can add a whole bunch of things like a grid of pictures. Like you can have a gallery just sitting there of pictures that you may have taken, pictures that you like on the internet or something like that. You can add a slideshow, you can add buttons just to do whatever you want, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to discover more, for example, or read more, just continue. If you have a shop that you would like people to check out, you can do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just keep looking at these cool things here. And you can add boxes just to, just to add a little bit more spice, so to speak, to your text. So if you wanted to put all tech everything on top of one of these shapes, you could do that. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, social boxes here. So you can see you have a whole bunch of different options here. Uh, so if I wanted the actual logos, I can do that. But if I wanted something a little cleaner, I can go ahead and choose this. So if I wanted to get rid of this social bar, I could do that. So that's the, that's just the preset one to just give you an idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one. Let's say, for example, this one could go here. Eh, maybe something like that. But if I wanted to resize it, I could do that. But before I resize it, you can actually customize the icons. So if you have your own icons that you made or somebody else made them for you, you can actually upload these uh, to be on your website. So that's pretty cool, too. So you don't have to use the preset ones. Uh, so that's awesome. Also, let me go ahead and go back in here. If you wanted to, you could actually, if like, let's say for example, if you don't have Google Plus, you can get rid of Google Plus. Unfortunately, if you have YouTube, you kind of have to have Google Plus, but if you don't really feel the need to lead people there, then you can get rid of those. So that's pretty cool. Again, making everything look the way you want it to. So that's pretty cool. It's really, really easy as well. We can also choose the layout of the social bar so we can make it vertical if we wanted to, or we can just make the icon size smaller or something like that. We can also uh, adjust the uh, spacing of the icon. So very, very customizable. And you guys already know, if you're familiar with the channel, you guys already know about me and customization. I love it. So uh, if I just wanted to leave that there, I could. So just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. So let's go ahead and check out what else you can add. All right, so taking a look at some of the other things that you can add, if you make your website a membership only type thing, you can uh, kind of add your own member login, which is cool. Uh, you can also add PayPal buttons if you are selling stuff. You can add uh, your store, again, if you're selling stuff. Uh, if you have a blog separate from this one, you can add another one there. You've got Lightbox, you've got, you can add a list of things you want. You've got little menu bars. So if you have different places in the website you would like to lead people to, and you've got a bunch of menu bars that you can add there. You have contact information if you wanted to uh, share your location so people can contact you that way. Uh, join email lists and stuff like that. Contact forms. It's really easy to do that. Again, the social media stuff. You could have music playing if you would like on your website. You can add videos and stuff like that. So there are a whole bunch of things that you can do here uh, in just this one category. Uh, so that's really, really awesome. All right, so taking a look at the Wix app market, these are some cool add-ons uh, that you could put on the website. So if you wanted to add a comment box for people to just uh, give their feedback on their website, some some suggestions and all that kind of stuff, you can add that. Or something that I would probably do is the uh, Instagram feed. So if you wanted your Instagram feed to appear on your website, you can do that. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that real quick. All right, so I went ahead and I added my Instagram feed to the site here. And this looks really, really cool. I think this is pretty fun. It was really simple, just went to the app market. Market, 
uh, added the Instagram feed to the to the site, and then I went ahead and connected my Instagram account, and boom, it just appeared like that. And you can also customize this if you wanted to, just go into the settings. You can change the grid size, you can change the layout. So if you want it to be like a collage type look, you can do that. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. All right, so there, all right, all right, so there you go. So if you wanted your Instagram feed front and center, you can do that. Of course, you can move these uh, little grids wherever you want. So if you wanted to move that off to the side, you could do that. So there you go. So there's my Instagram feed. That's a nice touch. I kind of like that. I am getting more active on Instagram again. I'm making this uh, spaced out the way I wanted it to be. So now let's go ahead and move on to our blog posts here. So I can manage the post. I can add my new post. Uh, it's really, really simple. So I can select all of these if I wanted to, and I could just get rid of them. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and keep one of them actually, uh, so we can kind of see what it's like to edit a post. So let's go ahead and trash these ones that I've selected here. There they go. And let's go ahead and edit this one. All right, so now we're in the blog post editor and it should be really easy from here. I've actually never done this part before. So let's go ahead and edit this part and just call it, uh, I, I don't know, the, the stuff, stuff, stuff happens. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, let's just go with that. All right, so let's go ahead and change a few more things. Let's go ahead and uh, choose the publish date. So let's say, for example, April 13th. Shout out to those of you that have April 13th birthdays. You can add kind of like a caption text right here. So let's just say, woman walking. Kind of tells the story of what's happening in your picture here. So woman walking, yes. Uh, you can choose uh, feet, feet, water, and uh, uh, yeah, leaves. And then of course we can always add our own picture. So if we wanted to get rid of this one, we can just go ahead and delete it. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one too, why not? And then we can add our own picture. So if you wanted to add a GIF, you can add a video if you wanted to as well. Choose from gallery, preset gallery. Of course you would wanna uh, upload your own images. So there are a whole bunch of cool things that you can check out as well, like the my upload section. So you can keep track of all of the things that you've actually uploaded. So you can upload different font packs, all of the images that you've uploaded, like the one that I uploaded just recently. You can keep track of the music that you've uploaded, everything that you've added from your own computer to the site you can keep track of, which is really handy. Just gonna go ahead and take another quick look at this Wix app market. I really like the Instagram feed. So let's see what else you can add here. You can add your Twitter feed, which is pretty cool. It helps you get more followers. You can add a YouTube subscribe button, which is really, really awesome. You can add a Twitter tweet button or a Twitter follow button. You can add a whole bunch of Facebook add-ons, Pinterest add-ons. So this is really cool. I'm really liking this so far. I really wanna make my website using this tool because uh, it's free and I'm a noob. So I think this is a great way to get my feet wet, so to speak and uh, I want to see if you guys will actually use the website so uh, thumbs up this video if you actually want me to go through with making the website making a blog whatever kind of website it may be and uh, yeah I want to see if you guys will actually start using it and checking it out and uh, we'll do it but um uh, let's check it let's take a look around before I end the video here you can add page transitions for out and in try a crossfade type thing here so everything fades in or have everything slide in from the side like that there you go that looks pretty cool I do like that so once you start going into the page then it'll show that animation which is really nice so we have the home and about page which is where we're at now the home page is where we're at we can also go to the about page if we wanted to edit that as well but you can also add another page to be whatever you want it to be uh, add a new page so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do stuff I really like the word stuff for some reason so let's go ahead and do that we can reorganize it we can make it the home page if we wanted to so let's go ahead and uh, you can change whatever you want uh, again you just have uh, permissions layouts page info page SEO search engine optimization in case you didn't already know that but this here you can actually see what it'll look like on Google search results which is pretty cool and you can customize that to your liking you have page information uh, page layout you can have a header like I have there with the easy tech or you can take that away if you want you can have permissions so if you want this to be kind of like an exclusive page for members if you do have memberships uh, then you can do that password protections and stuff like that so that's pretty cool I do like that so if you wanted to have some sort of exclusive content for maybe your YouTube subscribers or uh, your blog readers or followers or whatever they're called then you can do that so I do like that that's a nice touch so back to the page here this is the page of stuff so you can make this whatever you want again we can go ahead and take away the header and the footer so you can perhaps put a banner that you made yourself right there if you wanted to make this a page about food or something you can do that and put pictures of food so <laughs> that's pretty much uh, what you can do here you can add as many pages as you want really and uh, yeah you can make new transition animations for each part so maybe let's make this part vertical I guess or I think that's probably for all of them then yeah that's probably for all of them so that's still cool though you can add different transition animations as you go along so that's really really cool I do like this this seems like a fun thing to try out and I think I'm actually gonna go through with it uh, so there you go so as you can see there it added the stuff page to the left hand 
hand side uh, next to the header there and you can actually customize these as well you can move them around change the fonts change the sizes all that good stuff as you would expect we also have a few different tools here some of which we've already seen some of which are already enabled like the grid lines and the snap to objects and then we have the help center so if you're confused about how something works or you just need to figure something out then the help center is obviously the place to go you can also add keyboard shortcuts so if you can if you want to make navigating more easy then you can add those keyboard shortcuts and you can get help uh, connecting your domain and stuff like that then you can upgrade as well so initially Wix is a free service and it is still great when it's free uh, so if you just wanted to create a blog just like this one then you can go ahead and do that completely free but you can upgrade and get a free domain to connect to your site you can enjoy unlimited bandwidth and extra storage we'll get into that in a little bit you can connect to Google Analytics so if you're really serious about keeping track of your analytics and stuff like that then uh, that's something that you're gonna want to do so this is where you can check out all of the different premium plans here and they do help you out with which one is best for which so this e-commerce one here for example is best for small businesses you get 20 gigs of bandwidth uh, 20 gigs of storage so if you wanted to put a whole bunch of stuff on your website then you've got 20 gigs of storage to mess around with and that 20 gigs of bandwidth is for how many people you think will be trafficking in and out of your website if that makes sense uh, so for example the entrepreneurs and freelancers kind of similar to what I'm doing then unlimited bandwidth if you think a lot of people are just gonna go in and out of your website that's pretty much what you're gonna to want to go for and then you've got the one for personal use so if a lot of people aren't really going to be going in and out of your website and stuff like that then you've got that one for personal use and then you've got the VIP first priority support and stuff like that so uh, you have a whole bunch of different plans here find the one that you would want I would probably go with the unlimited entrepreneurs and freelancers one because unlimited bandwidth I'm gonna have all of my fans and all of my friends and all that stuff going in and out of my website I want to put a whole bunch of stuff on that site then that's probably the one I'm gonna want to go with so if I wanted to go ahead and save this layout for later so I can mess around with it at another time I can go ahead and do that uh, but that's pretty much it guys making a website has never been as easy as this and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through with it at some point hopefully very soon so you guys can check out what my future website could possibly look like so Wix is definitely a great tool for just that so make sure you check them out links down below in the description but that does it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but that does it for me I'll talk to you guys in the next one and thanks for watching.